Hello there, I am your host Akiva Balsam from Kosher Vids, and today we is going to talk about bugs on lettuce. You got that right. Watching out for bugs is very, very important. If a person were to eat pig, he'd be transgressing one tire prohibition. But if a person were to eat a bug, he'd be transgressing five and possibly even six tire prohibitions. That's why it's very, very important to be bugged out about eating bugs. <laughs> Get it? Uh, eat a bug? Yeah, why do we have to be so careful about eating bugs? Well, are you careful about eating chazer? I hope. When you eat, when you eat chazer? I, I try not to. You any, any, any from you who would? I don't. Okay, well, eating bugs is six times as bad as eating Times because you six times could potentially be over on six of airs. California is responsible for growing one third of the country's vegetables and two thirds of the country's fruits and nuts. That's about thirty billion dollars worth. Now that's a lot. Well, since it's grown right here in California, I decided to take a trip down to the Salinas area where it's all grown and see for myself if there really is a problem with the lettuce. And what I found was quite scary. Music, please. My first step was to contact Robin Isano Berkowitz, who works for Bodek, and to make a meeting with him in Salinas by one of the Romaine lettuce fields. But since I was going to the coast of California anyways, I decided to make this trip part of a one-week road trip, which was insanely beautiful. Check it out for yourself. Come on, man. Why aren't you into the road trip? Huh? There are two main bugs which are an issue on romaine lettuce and many other fruits and vegetables. Their names you shall never forget forever. Thrips and aphids. Thrips and aphids. Whoa. And what are we looking for over here? Thrips and aphids primarily. Thrips and aphids. Those are gorgeous. There's our bug checkers. Thrips and aphids come in many different sizes and colors, and you got to make sure that they are not camouflaged into the plants. For example, aphids can come in the color brown when on romaine lettuce, but can come in the color red when they're on strawberries. Right over there. Right there. Yeah. That's an aphid. Mm -hmm. So hard to see. Wow. 
There's an aphid right there. This is a bigger, this is a mama aphid, right? Oh, you found another one? Yeah. He's a <laughs> teen. He's a teen. Oh, this is a teen. Yeah, <laughs> this is not this even guy, mama. This guy is not even bar mitzvah yet. This, this guy is, is not a mama aphid. This is, this is a teen. <laughs> that right there is an aphid. And they will reject an entire field just for one aphid on a lettuce head because those things stick. Even when you wash, they don't come off in the wash. They say if you add soap, then it makes it a lot easier for them to come off, and that's why a lot of cautious people tell you to wash in soap and then power wash each leaf. Um, but they're really tough to get off. So. Right, what just happened in the last field, huh? Last field didn't work out for us. Why not? Field 23. So. What was we wrong? Every, we checked 50 lettuces, okay? We got 50, okay? And then, at the last step of the process, we had to, we checked, this is his idea, to check under the light, which kind of put him in a, what is this, what is this organization called? Uh, Bodek? Bodek, so, for that you have to be extra strict, and we found a really deadly bug. Not what, deadly. What's it called? Got for this moment. It's called it aphid. Aphid on the, on the camera, I get, I get forgetting, but uh, it's called aphid, and we found it under the light, a little baby, which means his mama not so far, and then we had to cancel from that field, so, so now we're not gonna be approving that field, and now we're in a different field. All right, we're going to field number 23 now. I think. Yes. I have no idea how they know which field is what. Put that down now. <laughs> Got to chop some wood. Out of about 40 heads, we found 10 heads with thrips. So this is actually a good field. <laughs> this is a dangerous position. There, wait. Oh, there. Okay, so that's a thrip right there. That's what a thrip is. It alive? It's just my camera's alive. Can you point it? Right there's a thrip. That's a thrip right there. That little black ish. Thrips. It's called the th it's called the thrips. Found a thrip on the inner bottom leaves. It's that. Like, don't even know like. That's pretty retarded. It's like it's got like different like protrusions. It's freakishly It's freakishly retarded. It's like coming out. Thrips are much less of a problem than aphids. Thrips wash off plants much easier than aphids. The aphids stick very, very closely to the plant and are very hard to wash off. Therefore, in order to take off an aphid, you need to use soap. Because soap makes the plant slippery and then they fall off. The correct way to make sure your romaine lettuce is aphid-free according to the CRC is to fill a large bowl with water and add dish soap or kosher veggie wash solution, enough to make the water feel slippery. Then separate the leaves and agitate them in the soap water and let it soak for a little. Then, the leaves should be removed and the water should be checked for any floating bugs. If no bugs are found, check three leaves under a good light source. And if still no bugs are found, just rinse the rest of the leaves and you are done. Presto! This same process can also be used with other problem vegetables such as spring mix, fresh dill and parsley, kale, and strawberries. Just cut off the green tops of the strawberries beforehand, please. Well, I hope you learned a lot about bugs on lettuce, but it's almost time to go. But before you go, I want you to check out some of my favorite footage from the trip from one of the best surf spots in the world. Santa Cruz, check it out.